Okay, welcome California head coach Conzo Martin and Jabari Bird. Coach, go ahead with an opening statement and then we'll open it up to questions. Uh, thanks for being here. Uh, we enjoy it. Uh, we're excited about our team. Uh, Jabari's done a great job. Great to have Ivan Rabb return. Uh, some great additions. So we're looking forward to a great season. We'll open it up now. First question here on the left in the third row. Hi, Rob Huang from CGB right here. Jabari, your freshman year you played with uh, Cobbs. Your sophomore year you had a senior like Kravish. And last year you had Ty. Um, have you taken a little bit of their little bits and pieces of how they lead the team into how you're going to lead, you know, being your senior year here at Cal? Uh, definitely. All three of those guys are great leaders, and they all had different attributes to them that made them great leaders. But the one thing I take from all of them is just, like, extreme confidence in yourself. Like, no matter what's going on, bad or good on the court, you always got to be that guy that guys can come to, you know. You can't ever be too down on yourself, no matter how you're playing, because you got to be the leader of the team. So that's one thing I definitely take from all those guys. Yeah, one in the far back. How you doing, Coach? Um, could you talk a little bit about what Ivan's return to the program means for you guys and if you expect him to have an expanded role on offense this season? Well, it's, it's great to have him back. Um, and I've said it before, one of the best guys I've ever been around as a basketball player, as a young man, as a student athlete. Uh, he has all the parts to be successful in life, whether he's playing basketball or not. Uh, his family did a tremendous job in raising him, great foundation around him. I'm uh, just happy to have him back because, again, a tremendous talent, wonderful young guy. Uh, he takes pride in going to class and being successful, not just going, but he wants to be good. He wants to get a degree. He represents the Bay Area. He takes a tremendous amount of pride in that. Uh, guys love being around him. Teammates love playing with him. And I, I think the, the thing, the, the step or the jump, if you will, you know, people always talk about a year later. Of course, he's a talented player. He can shoot the ball. He can make plays off the drill. He can post up. He's a tremendous rebounder. He's a really good passer, both hands. But, but I think the part is uh, him just taking ownership and understanding what it means to be an elite, be successful, and, and to be one of the best to do this and, and to represent Cal. And I think for him, he has everything, but he wants to represent not only Cal but the Bay Area. And that's a lot of weight for a young guy, but he takes a tremendous amount of pride in doing it. Let's go to Janie here in the front row. Jabari, how much did the sting of the way you guys finished, um, you know, wanting to make a deeper run in the in the tournament, sort of fuel your your summers? Um, maybe it's even something that still is pushing you guys um, in the preseason right now to to take another step to go further. Um, last year's end to the season was uh, extremely motivational. You know, it didn't end the way we wanted to end. We had some uh, unfortunate circumstances. But uh, for me personally, I've just been trying to take every day, you know, one step at a time, just make sure I'm going as hard as I can, getting better, whether it's like in the weight room or on the court, and uh, just try to, you know, have a more complete game this upcoming season and make sure I'm just super consistent and um, leading the team. Jenny, you got a follow-up? And... Coach Martin just discussed it, but to, to have Ivan back and have that little bit of stability because you guys did lose some, some players, um, what does that mean for, for the program and, and going further like you just mentioned? Uh, having Ivan back was huge for the program. You know, everyone in the locker room loves Ivan. He's a great teammate on and off the court. For somebody so talented, he's extremely unselfish. He loves getting other guys involved, even though he knows he can be, like, you know, really dominant. So uh, to have Ivan back is, is great for our program, and uh, he's a big part of our team. What we're looking forward to do this year. We'll go to Ben in the uh, third row. Hey, guys. Ben Parker from GoldenBearReport.com here. Uh, can you guys talk about just what you've seen from Charlie Moore in the first couple weeks of practice and just what you expect him to bring to the table this year? Uh, Charlie, he's, uh, he's dynamic. You know, he's an extremely fast point guard, uh, super talented, you know, for, for a kid that young to come in. He hasn't really hit a bump yet, as far as I've seen so far in practice, where he couldn't have handled it. He's been uh, extremely mature and in the locker room, on the court, and everything. And uh, I'm looking forward to play with him this season. Uh, Charlie's a talented guy. Um, he's been battle tested, you know, since he stepped on a high school circuit, whether it's with his high school team, with his summer AAU team. Uh, played against high level talent every day in practice. If you watch some of his high school practices, the guys that are in the gym that he's competing against since he was, you know, probably 14 years old. So you, you knew he was going to be a good player. He's a tough kid. 
uh, like Jabari said, it's just, it's just he might be the first one that I've seen as a young guy, as a true freshman, from the summertime up until now, that really hasn't skipped a beat or hasn't hit a wall yet or hasn't made face expressions, poor body language, or I'm struggling, coach complaining. He just takes it in stride and keep rolling. He's a, he's a fierce competitor. He, he wants to be successful. He pushes the ball. He makes guys better. Uh, but, but again, a lot of credit to his background, the way his dad put him in situations to be successful. So won't be surprised when it's all said and done when, when Charlie's one of the better guys ever come out of Cal. We'll go to Tom here in the front left. Coach Martin right here in the front. Um, Having had uh, Jalen Brown for one year, I was wondering if your uh, feelings toward the one and done rule have have changed at all. Would you like to see any alteration of that? Is it good for college basketball? I mean, what are your thoughts about that? Well, first, I've never really got caught up in, you know, and obviously just the word and the phrase one and done. I mean, I just think you recruit young men to be successful. And the one thing about Jalen Brown, he's an exceptional student and a wonderful young man. Uh, did a great job in the classroom. His first semester was a 3-2, had two grad level courses out the gate. So we can't lose sight of that part. And he understood what he wanted to get accomplished at Cal. He's a talented young guy. He couldn't pass up on an opportunity. I really enjoyed being around him, enjoyed coaching him, uh, enjoyed seeing him grow. And you'll see when it's all said and done, he has wanted a chance to be special at that level. But not at all. You, for, for me, I recruit young men that I like to be around. Because if it's all basketball, then I don't want to be a part of our family. Uh, I don't, I don't care if they're rough around the edges. They come from East St. Louis like I come from. Wherever they come from, I just want to be a part of a young man's life to see him grow, to put him in position to be successful in life. So I've never had a gauge on how many years I, this guy plan on being in school. I don't recruit for that reason because I like to be around guys and build relationships with them. And like the same way with Ivan Rapp, when you have a chance to recruit a guy like that, you would rather want to be around those guys off the court too because, again, Special guys are gifted, and, and again, you, you don't see those guys all the time. You see them on the floor, uh, tremendous talents, but, but those guys with the combination of uh, the ability to, to have compassion for people, uh, to be very unselfish, humility, uh, as well as understanding. I, I don't want to just be an, an athlete. I want to be a CEO of a company. And those two guys had that ability in them, and I'm talking about Ivan Rab as well. So I really enjoyed being around him. So, and again, my gauge, I don't, I don't sit there and say I want to recruit this guy for one year to try to win a championship. We know how hard that is to do. My job is building relationships, and more than anything, my title is a coach, but, but I'm a builder of men. That's what I take a tremendous amount of pride in. I don't know if there's a rule. I mean, I think you go to college for one year, you have success, and there's an opportunity to go on the draft. You go on the draft, I don't. I mean, I, I'd rather if they had the choice to go out of high, from high school, uh, if they had the choice. I mean, I think it's their right to make that decision. If I'm 18 years old, the NBA deems the fact that this guy's a potential first round and almost as if the NBA guarantees that he's a first round if he comes out of high school, then he's guaranteed four years uh, because in my mind, that's the equivalent of four years of college. So that means financially, he has four years to get out the gates. You put him in position academically to be successful when he's a professional because he's only 18 years old and he's exposed to a lot of man things at 18. And you wonder why guys struggle with that. As 18 years old, I'm 45 years old. There are a lot of things I struggle with as a man. And I've seen a lot of things as when I was a young guy up into a man's status. But again, you put him in position to be successful. But I think if they had the right to come out from out of high school, 18 years old, allow him to go on the draft, but to put him in position, put the ownership on the team, to put him in position to be successful, I think everything will be fine. But I think it's their right to do it if they want to do it. Okay, we have time for one more. Right here in the second row on the left. Uh, Coach Martin, Ryan Gorsey, BearTerritory.net, Scout.com. Have you had your scrimmage against St. Mary's, or is that upcoming? Am I allowed to talk about that? See, with these rules, they, they change so much. I don't even know if you can advertise that you're playing a scrimmage. I mean, I just – but we hadn't played a game yet, no, uh, if I'm allowed or not allowed. So it just – it always changes. What are you hoping to see in From that? our team, the stuff we've been seeing in practice. These guys have done a great job getting after it. And a, and a lot of credit obviously goes to Jabari as a leader. Uh, he's done a great job just, just playing at a high level, practicing at a high level, as well as the other singers. And then, of course, Ivan Rapp. Uh, Kingsley has done a tremendous job. Just see the growth of Kingsley. Uh, just, just really fun to be around the guys. Uh, Charlie Moore, uh, Grant Mullins, a guy that's really shooting lights out. So, uh, I don't really have anything in particular I want to see outside of defending, rebounding, playing hard, and playing as a team. 